Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV. Last video of the show. I'm over here at Dead Air with my good buddy Mike Smith. I've known Mike for about 20 years now. It's been a while. This guy's been in the business for a long time. He's now at Dead Air. One of the smartest individuals you will ever likely meet if you're so lucky to meet him. We've got the Lazarus, Lazarus 6. Tell me all about it. Yep, Lazarus 6 is our first hard use 3D printed rifle can. Uh, Lazarus, the 6 in the Lazarus name is a 6 millimeter aperture, so you can shoot 6 arc, 6 creed more through it, although it is optimized for 5.56. Okay, and tell me everything about it. What does hard use mean? Uh, this is going to fall in the same line as, uh, say, our uh, Sandman series and Sierra 5, short barreled rifles, high rates of fire, full auto, no barrel length restrictions. Could it replace? the Sandman? Um, probably will not replace the Sandman, but it's going to be a product that is sold in parallel to the Sandman, but uh, it's got some uh, tricks up its sleeve. Like what? What do I get with this versus, say, a Sandman? Sandman? Yeah. Well, you get uh, hub versatility, whereas the Sandman has the uh, chemo, chemo built into it. Yep. So you've got that modularity. This is printed out of uh, Haynes 282, uh, high nickel super alloy. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, very abrasion resistant, heat resistant, handle a lot of flame. Mm -hmm. um, Uses the Triskelion baffle that we introduced last year in the uh, Mojave 9. It's got mm -hmm. three baffles and something we call the Triskelion gas management mm -hmm. system that allows some of the gas to uh, pass around the baffles on the outside. And we squeeze the gas, release it, squeeze it, and release it. And that has the effect of giving you low back pressure, uh, very good acoustic performance at the shooter's ear, and it kills flash. Uh, what the hell is, uh, it sounds like some kind of Cleon word. What, trillium? Tri Triskelion. Tri oh, yes, yeah, that, whatever. That's what yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. Don't correct me, Mike. <laughs> Anyways, tell me about the trillium. Yeah, yeah, the Triskelion baffle was actually something we played around with at AAC years ago in a uh, uh, cast form. Mm. And at the time, we were switching over to the uh, stamp you can know baffles, which were far less expensive and lighter in weight. And uh, I've thought about that baffle a lot over the years. And now that we're going the additive manufacturing route, I thought, can I take that and add a few different things to it and see how it performs? And it worked out wonderfully in the Mojave 9. And so the next step was to see how it did with a centerfire rifle calibers and works very well. Okay, well, let me put you on the spot. How does this compare to the Sandman? Is this better? It's better in some regards. Uh, it's going to be a little lower back pressure can. The Sandman on 5.56 has been a good performer in terms of back pressure because mm. you're shooting 5.56 through a 30 caliber bore. Mm. Uh, but this was designed from the ground up to have better back pressure characteristics than the Sandman. And again, you do have the uh, modularity of being able to switch out the mounts. Okay. How much is this going to cost and when's it available? It's going to be available Q2 uh, in its most bare bones form with a Xeno in the backside. It's going to be around $9.99. If you get it with the... Uh, ABD, the adjustable back pressure device, is going to add a couple hundred bucks. And if you get it with the heat shield on the outside, you're looking at around 1400 bucks. What's the ABD? The ABD was designed by one of our other engineers, uh, Will, and it allows you to further tune the back pressure of the silencer to a particular host weapon. So you're not going to have to replace your buffer, put on an adjustable gas block. You can do all the adjustment up here. And it's extremely easy. It's a three-piece design. Oh, okay. You take the cap off. You've got an adjustment ring here. And as you move the ring around, you open up the aperture inside. It allows the gas that's coming out of the end of the silencer to be metered out through these holes. And you can dial the back pressure down an additional 30% through the use of this. Very cool. Well, Mike, yep. thanks for talking to us. I'm James Reeves. I'm a huge Triskelion Trillium guy <laughs> here. Last video shot show. Thank God we're done. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to TFB TV Shot Show 2024. See you next year. Thank you.